So, Mike, let's talk about, we were talking about oil and gas production. Yes. A lot of people have health concerns. Let's jump into health care. Uh, clearly a big issue in Colorado. Premiums are skyrocketing yes. here. What's your solution? You have 30 seconds. Great. Uh, yeah, I mean, just to underscore, if you are in the western slope of Colorado or the eastern plains, those rural parts literally have some of the highest health care costs in the country right now. And, and so a couple of big things we've come Well, not out just on. the cost. So what I think a lot of people on the front range don't realize is the cost of premiums when you're outside of the metro area is ludicrous. Yeah, that's right. Now, we have, I talked to, you know, a couple, husband and wife, who are paying $1,200 a month uh, for insurance and then still have a $10,000 deductible. I mean, so it's, it's just astronomical. So a couple things we've done. One is you, you, you want to increase competition and you want to be able to act, give people more choice. And so we've proposed offering a, a public option where folks could buy into Medicaid, the state's Medicaid plan, if you lived any place in a region where the plan that's offered is unaffordable. So if you're paying more than 10% of your income for a health insurance plan, that's unaffordable. We would trigger uh, a buy-in for, for Medicaid into that, which would make it affordable in that way. So also, if, I'm, if I'm making 40000 a year and I'm paying more than 4000 so you're talking about adjusted gross income or? We're talking about gross. So if you're, if, if you're paying 40000 and you're spending more than 4000 that would that would trigger the option for you to be able to buy into Medicaid. What would be, that typically cost? Uh, it depends, obviously, on your plan and your circumstance, but it's obvious, often much more affordable in the kind of 250 to 500 range uh, per month than what other folks might be paying, which is now much, much higher. No one's that. paying 250 to 500 anymore. Exactly. I mean, that's if you're an individual. Obviously, right. families and couples get more, but that it still can be a much stronger range. Sure. And so then in addition, we focus on other things like how do you take on the, the mental health crisis and the drug addiction and opioid crisis statewide, I think, are critical, particularly how do we get more and more mental health providers and more and more drug treatment programs out into the rural areas. So how do we do that? How do we do that across the state, including in the metro area? Yeah. One of the things we've proposed is offering incentives for folks who would go to be providers in hard-to-serve areas like rural communities. So to say if you're a mental health provider or you're a primary care doc, we'd like to provide uh, incentives from the state for you to serve areas in the state that are hard to serve. It also means making treatments available, so things like uh, MAT, which is the medication-assisted treatment, which is the best treatment for opioid addiction, not available in enough places and too expensive in many others, And so we, and because oftentimes it needs uh, providers to help administer and support it, and so it's a matter of attracting providers and also getting the funding for the services that those folks need in those places.